Hey guys, welcome back to this video. In this one, I'm going to give you a five steps method that will help you with this syntax of Python. So if you're new to Python and you often get confused with it, with its syntax and you don't know how to work in Python. So this video is for you. Without further ado, let's get going. So the first thing I want to talk about is understanding the syntax of a function. Well, that's just easy. Whenever you see some words, whenever you come across with words that are directly followed by parentheses, whether it be empty parentheses or those parentheses inside of it, there's some data. It doesn't matter. But, but that's the simplest way to know what's a function and what should not be considered as a function. So let me give you an example. I have a function print. So now this is a function, right? This is the function name and is directly followed by parentheses. So this is now a function. And remember one another point that functions are independent, which means that they do not require to work on some specific type of data. Like print is a function, it works independently. I have another function which is called int. So it's also a function which doesn't require to work on some uh, kind of uh, specific object. We have another function which is called str. So these are all are functions and they work independently. We use functions to perform a specific task. So this can help you to understand or to figure out what are functions and what are not functions in Python. So I hope this is clear. Let's talk about the second one. Methods are somewhat similar to functions, but they work dependently it means that a method usually works on a specific type of object. Like there might be methods which only work with strings and there will be methods that work only with lists or with tuples and so on. So it has dependency. So let me give you an example. I have a list suppose a equals to 1, 2, 3, and 3. So I want to count the digit 3 that appears in this list. So how would I do that? I will simply type print a dot count and then I'll pass whatever I want to count. So 3. So it will print out 2 because there appears 2 times the digit 3. So now you see the difference between the function syntax and a method syntax. See a method, first of all, we type the object name and then a dot operator followed by the function name and its parentheses, a uh, method name, sorry, and parentheses. So this is the syntax of a method. And there's another one, suppose I have a string, s equals to hello. I just wanna check out that, uh, is this string in lowercase? So how would I do that? As the low is lower is lower and then I'll leave the parentheses empty so these both are methods now you see I cannot use is lower with a list or a tuple because this is a method that only works with strings and can't works with a tuple and list as well so this is the difference between a list and a function Lim functions work independently while methods are dependent. I hope this is clear. Let's talk about the third point. So the third point I want to give you is understanding the syntax of statements. You know, we have a couple of statements in Python. So suppose we have a statement if, so if A equals to suppose B. You need to learn that, you need to understand that a statement always and always ends with a colon symbol. So whenever you come across colon symbols and it's uh, it begins with a specific keyword, just know that's a statement, right? And then you you know you see that there is some indentation, right? And there this is I mean then you might see that there is a block, a specific block. So you need to learn what are statements in Python, how they are written. So the fourth step is distinguishing between a variable and a string. I see a couple of beginners 
what they do is that they get confused with a simple string and variables names so suppose I have a variable name hello equals to 10 so now this is a variable and I have another variable that's holding a string hello so sometimes they get confused when they want to work with strings they don't enclose it in double quotes and when they want to work with variables then they enclose it in double quotes so sometimes yeah they get confused so if I print out hello here by not enclosing it in double quotes so what it will print out it will definitely display 10 because a hello is a variable keep in mind that a variable's name is never enclosed in double quotes and when it, that's being enclosed in double quotes it would be considered as a string i hope this is clear so if i enclose it in double quotes it will print out hello but if i remove these double quotes it will definitely print out 10 because that would be considered as a variable name so just know that strings are always enclosed in double quotes while variables are never enclosed in anything you just need to type it and assign value to it well that's it let's talk about the most important and the last step well what is that is understanding indentation so what is indentation in python well indentation basically defines a block of code in python see this if statement right i'm here now this is considered as a separate block why because because of the indentation these empty spaces white spaces are considered as indentation so if i want to insert some more statements into this block suppose another statement print then another one whatever be that's done if you want to go out of this block and you want to start another block of code another statement you want to work with another statement or you want to apply a function or whatever you want to do but not inside of this block so you'll simply have to start another line from the beginning i mean right from here you don't have to leave any empty spaces when you want to start another block if you simply want to end a block of code just simply don't leave any white spaces before starting another block that's how it's considered suppose it's another block here suppose it's another one here another statement suppose a function definition if a add whatever b so if i insert statements here now these are two blocks this is the first block this is the second block of code and it's how python knows that this is another block because of the indentation so if i won't leave indentation here like if i put like this then this all the entire these all lines would be considered as a one block so we need to know how to work with indentation and how to define different blocks of code in python i hope this is clear well that was all for now i hope this video has helped you in way one way or other if it did help you give it a thumbs up subscribe me for more programming videos and thank you for watching see you in another one